Yes, you are reading it right. Image of a point in a plane in just 10 seconds. Hi everyone, welcome to Mathematically Inclined. So on the huge response for shortcuts for 3D geometry, here it is. And I'm sure you're going to love it. So before we begin, make sure to check out the playlist on my channel for many more math shortcuts and full concept videos. And put in the comment section below which is the next topic you want. And now, let the magic begin. Finding the image of the point in the given plane is a very common question in 3D geometry. Going by the traditional method, you know if you are given the point, say 3 minus 2 comma 1, and you are given any plane whose equation is available, you have to basically treat this plane as a mirror and find its image which would be equidistant. So the traditional method takes really long to solve. What if I give you a trick and you can get the image in literally 10 seconds? Yes, this is possible. How? Well, watch this video till the end as I reveal the secret formula. Suppose you say that the image B, so let the image be alpha, beta, gamma, which you have to find. Now, all you need to do is write alpha minus 3, beta plus 2 and gamma minus 1. So, basically, I'm just subtracting alpha minus 3, beta of minus of minus 2 makes it beta plus 2, gamma minus 1. And for your denominator, you just take the coefficients of x, y and z. So this becomes upon 3, this becomes upon minus 1 and this becomes upon 4. What is critical is what I write on the right side. Again, very simple. All you need to do is minus 2 times in the plane, wherever you find x, y and z, you simply substitute these points. That means this will be 3 times of 3 minus of minus 2 plus 4 times of 1 minus 2 if I bring it to this side whole upon and the square of these coefficients. So 3 square plus minus 1 square plus 4 square. That's it. The right hand side would always be a very simplified number. Like if you see, minus 2 and plus 2 get cancelled, 9 plus 4 is 13. So, minus 2 into 13 and here it is 9 plus 1, 10 plus 16, 26. These get cancelled and give you only minus 1. Now, to get your alpha, you would simply equate the first and the last one. For beta, second and the last one. And for gamma, third and the last one. So, alpha minus 3 upon 3 is equal to minus 1. That gives me alpha is equal to a 0. Similarly, beta plus 2 upon minus 1 is equal to minus 1. That gives me beta is equal to minus 1. And gamma minus 1 whole upon 4 is equal to minus 1. Which gives me gamma is equal to minus 4 plus 1. So, minus 3. So, the image of the point is simply 0 minus 1 minus 3. That's it. As simple as that. Let's discuss the procedure one more time with a new question. So you have to find the image of the point 714.5 to the given plane. Once again, if I assume the image to be alpha, beta, gamma, then we subtract the coordinates. So alpha minus 7, beta minus 14, gamma minus 5, Upon the coefficients of x, y, z, so 2, 4, minus 1 is equal to minus 2 times. Now, wherever you see x, y, z, just substitute these. So, this will be 2 into 7 plus 4 into 14 minus of 5. Don't forget to bring this constant, which is minus 2, whole upon and the square of the coefficients, which would be 2 square plus 4 square plus minus 1 square. Now, please realize, to show you the procedure, it is taking long. But trust me, when you do it on your own, it doesn't take more than 10 seconds. On simplifying, this is 14 minus 7. So, that's only 7. 56 plus 7 is 63. 
and below you have 4 plus 16 plus 1 which makes it 21. So on simplifying all this you just get a minus 6. Now once again equate. So alpha minus 7 upon 2 is equal to minus 6 gives us alpha is equal to minus 12 plus 7 which is minus 5. Beta minus 14 by 4 is equal to minus 6 gives us beta as minus 24 plus 14 which is minus 10. Likewise your gamma minus 5 upon minus 1 equal to minus 6 gives us gamma as 6 plus 5 that's 11. So simply the image becomes minus 5 minus 10 11. Wasn't that super simple? Please note if you have been only asked to get the foot of the perpendicular instead of the image, you know foot of the perpendicular would be just halfway through. So instead of your 2, let it be only minus of the same thing. So you don't need this 2. That means this should be equal to minus 3. And you would equate everything 1 by 1, 2 minus 3 and get the foot of the perpendicular. Picking up one more example which is slightly different. It says find the image of the point but this time you are given everything in the vector form. Don't get hassled. All you need to do is put everything in the Cartesian form and everything becomes super simple. This is also the tip in case you are giving your school exams. Always convert everything in Cartesian form because they are much easy to tackle. So simply the point that means become 1, 3, 4 and this plane is 2x minus y plus z plus 3 is 0. Basically we are picking up the coefficients and multiplying them with x, y and z. Having done that I am sure you people have already started working. So this would be alpha minus 1 is equal to beta minus 3 is equal to gamma minus 4 upon the coefficients which are 2 minus 1, 1 is equal to minus 2 times 2 times 1 minus 3 plus 4 plus 3 upon the, coefficient, the square of the coefficient so 4 plus 1 plus 1. This gives us the answer minus 2. Now you start equating alpha minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 2 gives us alpha is minus 4 plus 1 so minus 3. Beta minus 3 upon minus 1 is equal to minus 2 means beta is equal to 2 plus 3 that's a 5 and gamma minus 4 by 1 is equal to minus 2 gives us gamma is minus 2 plus 4 that's 2. So the image is minus 3, 5, 2. Bingo! In case you wish to write it in the vector form, you can write it as minus 3i cap plus 5j cap plus 2k cap. It's time for our do it yourself question. It says find the image of the point 3, 2, 1 in the plane 2x minus y plus z plus 1 is 0. You know the procedure, get started. And, and you know the first three correct answers. I always name them in my next video. So, get started. I am sure you love the video. If yes, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends, juniors, family, everyone. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that so far. Also, make sure to check out all the playlists on my channel for many more math shortcuts and full concept videos. See you with the next exciting one. Until then, bye-bye.